Now, live, this is 8 News Now at 6. Tearing down the old and going sky high with the new. Implosions were a common sight before the recession hit. That brought construction in Las Vegas to a grinding halt. Thanks for joining 8 News Now, the Valley's news leader. I'm Dave Cravassier. And I'm Denise Valdez. If you were here two decades ago, you know the spectacle that came with imploding a casino. Back in 1995, the landmark hotel and casino, built with the help of billionaire Howard Hughes, was imploded so the convention center could add new parking. Another one of Hughes' properties also saw a dusty end when the Desert Inn was imploded to make room for the win and the encore. And sticking from the rest of the rest uh, that was castaways, the crews brought that casino down in broad daylight. It might have been because it wasn't on the strip. It was near Boulder Highway and Charleston. And of course, the new frontier. They used pyrotechnics on the front of the building for the countdown, and there still isn't anything there yet. That brings us to today's top story, where a major hotel is once again set to be demolished. Paul Johnson is joining us now with the Riviera's fate. Paul. Okay. The Riviera implosion is scheduled for some time in June, and it'll be a big event. Think fire fireworks, music, and promotion. The LVCVA is going to make this sure this whole world hears about it because they want the world to know our convention space is about to grow big time. Let me show you something. Here's the convention center. Here's the Riviera property. Right now, there are two places for outdoor exhibit space right along Paradise Road. Once they implode the Riviera and clear the Riviera land, there will be a third outdoor exhibit space, and it'll be right on the Strip, which is very unique, and that kind of exposure, very attractive to companies looking to showcase new products. They expect to have this ready to go early next year in time for a big convention, ConAgra, in March of next year. Now, let me show you something else. In a few years, they are going to take this Riviera property, build a huge exhibit hall here, and there will also be parking for some 3,000 plus vehicles here. And then a little bit after that, they'll take the existing convention space and they're going to renovate all of that. Again, this is four or five, possibly eight years out. But looking at this, you begin to see just how big our convention space is getting. It takes up parts of three city blocks, but what really excites the industry is this strip exposure for people who want to showcase their new products. So far, the only fly in the ointment, the discovery that one of the towers at the Riv has asbestos in it. It's going to cost an extra million dollars to safely remove the asbestos before they blow it up in June. Denise? Great way to walk us through that story. Thanks, Paul.